Welcome to Chris's Caribbean Delights. And as you can see on the screen here, I have some uh, gray snapper steaks, which I have seasoned and I've had in the refrigerator overnight. Um, I, they were cleaned, dried, and I made it. I made a, a rub, a dry rub, with uh, some uh, freshly ground black pepper some nor bullion some uh, garlic powder thyme and cayenne pepper and I made that rub and I rubbed them down with that and put them in the refrigerator overnight so now we're going to fry these guys and uh, in a light uh, light flour mixture and uh, so let's go to the frying So, um, I just wanted to mention <clears throat> Happy New Year to everyone, to all my subscribers, to uh, all my viewers, those who are what, looking at my videos uh, constantly and uh, they have subscribed, they have hit that notification bell, they are getting everything that I, that I produce. So, um, before further ado, let's go to the frying of the fish. And now I'm preparing a light flour mixture. I have a cup and a half of flour in here. And I have um, two tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. Just to give it that crisp. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. We're gonna try to, we're gonna just season that. The top of the this is the this is the the dredging the dredging mixture. That's some cayenne pepper, about a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and uh, a little bit of fresh salt, a pinch of salt, just to give that crust a little flavor. Okay, so just mix this together here. cups of oil uh, it's about an inch an inch in the pan here we're gonna let this heat up once it's heated we'll come back we'll dredge and we'll fry okay now my oil is hot and I just put this uh, oh it's sizzling in the bottom there once you put a wooden spoon or something in there and it starts to sizzle that means your oil is ready and good, ready to go. So I've dredged a couple steaks here and just when you lay it and just lay it away from you away from you so that you wouldn't splash yourself. Shake off the excess flour lay it away from you and I'll just do two at a time doing a wonderful job and we'll let this fry maybe two minutes on each side and then we'll turn it two minutes on one side turn it two minutes on the other side and we're good to go so when I when I'm ready to turn it I'll be back okay so now we're about ready to turn we're already turned one let's uh, turn the other guy Just about two minutes on each side, and we're good to go. Fried gray snapper. A simple, a simple fried gray snapper. 
because I'm not doing the batter, the egg batter and all that. I just dusted it with some flour and, um, and cornstarch and, and put it in the oil and fry it. I seasoned it the night before and I had it in a refrigerator. So it's just a simple fried gray snapper. And you continue with the rest. Yeah, I would usually drench, keep drenching the top, so just to let it not get soggy. You keep drenching the top with the oil. Then you check. Okay, think we're good. Think we're good to go. There you go. <clears throat> Let's give it one turn. Give it a nice tan color there. Two to three minutes on each side and we're good. So I'll take these out and put some more in. So you have to be con cognizant of your oil because um, once it's done that first batch, it's really heated. So the next, uh, the next batch that's going to go in is going to get a hit with a very um, strong um, oil, I mean heat. So what I usually do, I turn, it, I turn the, the, the heat down for a little bit and so that when I put the second batch in it's going gonna, it's gonna to get hit with, that, uh, with that, that initial heat but it's not going to stay at that heat it's going to, the heat is going to reduce and then we'll be able to, uh, we'll get, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to cook inside you know, so to speak, it's not going to just uh, cook on the outside and um, and or get burnt or anything so I reduce the heat before I put the second batch in and then I dredge I dredge shake off the excess lay it in away from you And these are gray snapper steaks. I know I've mentioned that before. Gray snapper steaks, simply fried, simply fried gray snapper steaks. Just make sure every every inch is dredged with the flour. Shake off the excess and lay it in here away from you. So I have one left. Might as well do him already. And as I said, they were all seasoned the night before and kept in the refrigerator. Then you get your, then you get the fish from the from the butcher. And you bring it in, bring it home, wash, clean, clean with lemon, wash and everything, and you can season, and dry, you have to dry it, dry it first, with some paper towels, once you wash them with your lemon and everything, dry it, and then you can season, and put it in the refrigerator, and you use it whenever you want to. So, minutes <clears throat> I've lowered my temperature and it still has some zing in there so it's going so I'm not even going to raise the temperature for it and, you know, just leave it like that and I'm going to be back when I'm ready to turn So oh, I've turned one nice and golden. Everything I do is 
turn number two. So that's going to go for another two minutes on that side before we take them out. I'll be back. So these guys are done. solo one solo guy left here that I had five lay him in away from you okay so we'll be back when he's done Nice and golden brown. Two minutes on each side. So guys, once again, like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoy this uh, video. It's a nice short video just showing you how to fry some uh, uh, gray snapper sticks. Um, seasoned and fried. Um, so be safe. And a happy new year. Happy 2021. And I wish you all the things you wish yourself. God bless. So obviously the fried, snap, the fried uh, snapper steaks are going to go with some okras and some white rice. Enjoy.